Hi, Melissa and JR. How are you? How are you doing? Hey. I'm uh, well. How are you? I am, yes, but it's a nice hot day, so I can't complain. Yeah. Where are you? Where about are you? Yeah. In Toronto. Okay, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. and the I'm two of you are. Right, so. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, JR. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm surrounded by Canucks. Like the show, surrounded by Canucks. Some of my best friends in LA are from Montreal. I'm surrounded. Canucks have been a very important part of my life for a very long time. So I love you guys. We're good people. What can I say? Yeah. And I'm Cuban. <laughs> Every time I would go to Cuba, be like the whole tourism will be Canadians. You know, Canadians love Cuba. So. Yep. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> We have a lot to talk about. Last week's episode was the best one yet. Oh my goodness, with the awkward dinner party, the blood tears. Yeah. So much to talk about. But yeah. first, what do you two like best about working with each other? Um, It's a lot of laughs. Honestly, the whole cast is, oh, I've boy. never worked with a group of people who, who just wanted to laugh together more. You know, even during COVID, even during filming where you have masks on and you have to be separated, like we're a family and it's, it's really nice, um, you know, especially when you're in New York and you have to be separated because you can't go fly home and see your family as often, um, you know, COVID, COVID wise. So it's nice to be able to have a family with people that you work with. And it's pretty odd too. Like we, we've all been in the business for a little while and it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's just so rare from the jump, you know, from the jump, it was like that from the beginning of the, uh, of the seasons, we just kind of all connected and started hanging out and doing things outside of work and, I think it just really built the commodity of, of showing up to work and, and feeling safe and being able to just, you know, be vulnerable and expose ourselves. And it, it, it added, I think, a, a, a fun little texture and layer to to what the show is. So, mm -hmm. and it's nice, like I said, it doesn't happen all the time. So it's nice to be able to actually like going to work, you know? Right. So you both live tweet the episodes What have been your, some of your favorite moments as viewers. Honestly, I'm really liking Sanvi's storyline this season. I think it's super fun to be in Eureka and to see the, you know, the science of what they're exploring and stuff. Um, so for me, that's been super fun. Um, and also the awkward dinner party. Uh, that's, yeah. That was a fun one, for sure. Yeah. So, so yeah, those have been my favorites. <laughs> I love I love Vance's character. Vance's character is one of my. He's so subtle and contained, and like such a badass. Like, I love the element he brings to the show. You know, and Daryl's such a freaking romantic. cool guy. Yeah. Ben. Yeah. Yeah. So, as scene partners, what have been some of your favorite Michaela Jared moments to play, both okay. separately and together? I'm surprised we still have a job. Um, we 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 break character a lot and laugh. A little too much and then you add andrine which plays oh. bowers captain bowers and that's just whenever it's like a scene you'll see it this week whenever it's a scene with us three it's just yeah i can't i literally can't look at we can't look at her because she just she is she has this energy where it's just ridiculous like she's so fun and loving and and awesome and then we break character a lot so yeah i'm surprised jeff has not fired one of us yet yeah, the precinct might slowly disappear for, for reasons of nothing other than we laugh too much in there because um, Ellen Tamaki, who plays Drea, is also oh, yeah. such a little character. Um, and so whenever we're all in the precinct, it's just uh, yeah. it's a mess. <laughs> they have a hard time editing because we're just laughing too much. Yeah. I love it. So the fans have so many theories and so many feelings about everything going on on Manifest. So what have been some of your favorite like fan interactions and fan moments that really stayed with you? Uh, I, I mean, I love all the 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 Zikela, Zikelas, Jikelas, like all the like the the fans going back and forth between Jared and Mick and Zeke and Mick and 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 getting like fighting with each other about it all and and you know it's just it's just really cool to see that like you know they they have obviously been invested and bought both storylines and, and, you know, regardless of which way you go or what you connect with, you know, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's just, it's, it's cool to see that they're, you know, so invested in it. So I mean, we're me doing our um, I'm sorry. Um, for me, it's the, uh, the people who come back every single week. Um, like who's, who's the guy that always comments on your stuff? Oh, amazing. His name is yeah. Winton. He's been, he's been Winton. following me for a long time. He's just, his, his gifts are like, they're just the best. They're like Jeff yeah. Brake is just like, you're literally the master of gifts. He is so good. 
He's so witty. It's great. It's the, uh, yeah, it's the fans who come back every week uh, to chime in because they just get more and more blunt every single time, which we love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's coming up on Manifest that you couldn't say without spoiling anything? <laughs> what is coming up? We have four episodes left. Uh, and, you know, Jar and I have spoken about in other, other interviews that the last episode is, um, it's intense. It's, it's definitely a cliffhanger and it, it's, it's, yeah, it's intense. But uh, what else? I don't know. Jar, you want to ch chime in? <laughs> I mean, all, all, all I'll say is that, you know, just hang on. And, and, and get through these next couple episodes because the finale will not, it will not leave you disappointed. It's for me, like I've always said, I've always told Jeff, this is the first time I've ever worked on like a broadcast television show, you know, which is a little more cookie cutter. You can't really swear. You just like, it's a little more PG. And I'm always like, our show has so much like a potential for like being darker and grittier. And like, I know there's only so much you can do. They, they really kind of rode the line on, on episode 13 this year. It's, it's heavy. It's dark. It's heavy. And I mean, I read it twice because I couldn't believe the shit I was reading. I was like, what? Like, yeah, I got a lot of emojis coming from the 13th episode. So it's, the new, um, it's the new so I keep cutting you off. I'm sorry. Um, the new character. I, that we I have... talk, I talk what? I said, I talk too much. So please. <laughs> Um, the new character that we have, uh, who plays Angelina, um, she's got quite a quite a heavy couple episodes coming up, so you can look forward to some stuff with her that's very interesting. Oh my gosh, I can't wait! So, what have the two of you been watching lately, other than Manifest? Uh. Ooh, I, I mean, I watched Bridgerton. I I binged it. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of <laughs> loved it. No, we um, all did. <laughs> it was my, uh, it was, I was like, I'm just going to watch an episode. I'm not it. And then I'm done. And uh, there I was a day later, all finished the season. <laughs> <laughs> just relaxing. I haven't really watched a lot of television, which has been kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. So no bridge attempt yeah. for me. <laughs> that's okay. You've got lovely <laughs> nature. Right. <laughs> Exactly. so that's okay thank you so so much the two of you for your time i really appreciate it i can't wait now i really can't wait for that finale episode thank you so much